Okay, we're trying again. <laughs> Seems like all my videos have to come with multiple takes. Um, so I had to come inside because the neighbor started mowing his lawn, so it got a little too loud. Um, so I have two bath bombs from CBV left and a bunch of scent shots. So I'm gonna try and get through them really quick so I can fit them all into this video. Uh, second to last bath bomb is bedtime bath. This one smells just like the um, the bedtime bath baby wash. It is amazing. I can't wait to use it, especially when it's uh, time to go to bed or mommy needs to calm down. <laughs> That will be great. Um, I got this scent. I kind of have put this scent off for a long time because I was scared of the musk in it. And I should have ordered it before now because I really enjoy it. This is Queen of Denial, but I think there was a little typo and it's Queen of the Denial <laughs> this time. Um, this one smells really good. It smells like um, an incense shop, but not like super strong on the incense. It's just got that slightly sweet incense type note, but then there's a perfume that lingers in the background. And it's, I, I'm excited to use that one. Um, so I have like 14 scent shots, so I'm really gonna hurry. Uh, the first one is Bear Claws. This is my free scent shot, and I have had that one before. Um, it smells like caramel, uh, pastry to me. It smells so good. Uh, the first one for my order is Raspberry Bear Claw. When I saw the free scent shot, I laughed because I had ordered Raspberry Bear Claw and got Bear Claw <laughs> as a scent shot. Um, this one smells like the caramelly baked donut gooey yumminess filled with sticky raspberry. You get the sweet yummy raspberry. I can tell I'm going to love this one. It smells so good. Next is Rocky Mountain Christmas. This one, I can't remember what's in it, but I believe there's sugared spruce mixed with leaves, I want to say. But this is really, this is nice. I can see how this would, it was aptly named Rocky Mountain Christmas. You kind of get that outdoorsy, cold in the wintertime um, sweet pine smell. If you haven't tried sugared spruce before and you like evergreen type smells, I would highly recommend sugared spruce. It is phenomenal. It's a great Christmas smell. Um, so that one, oh, I can't wait to melt that one. I'm waiting for a cloudy day. <sighs> yep. Blue skies today. Next is lemon blueberry cheesecake strudel. This one I had anticipated it being stronger because um, lemon is such a strong smell and blueberry is such a strong smell, but they really are um, quite balanced with each other. Um, the lemon is very tart. Uh, I, don't, I don't really smell a lot of blueberry in this. Like I kind of get it as a sweet smell that kind of lingers in there but mostly I just smell the lemon. So we'll have to see how that one is melting. Uh, this one is raspberry tomato leaf. I decided to try this one cause it just the, it just intrigued me. Um, I get, this kind of reminds me of how Kmart smells. <laughs> I know that's really weird, but it smells like Kmart to me. Um, I get raspberry and then I get the tomato leaf, that herby green scent. It's not stinky. It's just a different smell. It's a sweet, a sweet green smell. I love raspberry and stuff because it kind of gives everything like a sticky syrupy type smell. Uh, next one I ordered was Mexican chocolate. I thought I'd try this one. Um, because it sounded so different. And I think I kind of expected it to smell like, um, like cinnamon and chocolate, but it doesn't. This one I do have to say is not my favorite. Um, 
I get a strong smell of almost like cumin um, in this. It's like like dried chili peppers and chocolate. Like the chocolate is an afternote that gives it kind of a sweet smell. But the, the pepper cumin smell is kind of throwing me off a little bit. So that one's all right. It's not, it's not my cup of tea. Next, I love this one, is, sorry, I've got a burp stuck. Pardon me. Is Cozy Kitchen. I wanted to order this one for a while. I love this one. Apple smells for me usually get too strong and, um, and sickeningly sweet. Uh, this one is caramel apple mixed with creme brulee. And it's so good. It's just like a creamy caramel apple. Oh, it just smells, it smells lovely. It smells so good. Uh, next, one of the new ones, lavender pumpkin. I thought this one would be really strange together, but it's actually, it smells pretty good. Like the, the lavender kind of gives it a, another herby note to the pumpkin like you get the earthiness of the pumpkin and then you get like the spice of the pumpkin and <coughs> it's almost like when you use herbs de provence which has lavender in it but there's no garlic and other things in here um it just gives it more of an herby an herby earthy pumpkin this one is really good i can tell it's going to be a good a good one in the warmer uh, watermelon, lemon, lime, cranberry fizz. This one to me, I can't pick out a single note in there. If there was a single note that I can pick out, it's the watermelon. Whoa, but everything else just, <clears throat> i got a frog in my throat today, just mixes so good together that, that you can't even, I can't even pick out a single note. It just smells like yummy, fruity goodness that you would love to drink. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I might have to do another video. Uh, Dancing in Dublin. I got this one because my sister would share. Um, this is so good. Like I got it in the bath bomb. This is... I don't... I think I might have had Shamrock Kiss and I wasn't sure if it was too green or soapy smelling for me. But mixed with the pink chiffon, this smells ridiculously awesome doesn't really smell like Dublin <laughs> but it smells it smells really good I really 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 like that one my mom thought there was apple in there so she was kind of fooled a little bit um, next another new one yeah I'm not gonna have enough time crud tastic uh, Blueberry pie. This one also an amazing, amazing, amazing smell. Uh, the blueberry patch and the kettle corn 